In this video, we shall step through the code structure and explain the logic behind the events and life cycle for a CTrader CBOT. As you can see, we have the CTrader ALGO application open and we've already created a new CBOT called Lifecycle Test. And in the code editor window, you can see the basic code structure. There are just three events displayed in the code editor window, the on start, the on tick, and the on stop. We will also add an additional two methods called onBar and onException and explain how they work later. But first we will start with the onStart method. The onStart method is triggered when the CBOT first starts. It is used to initialize any variables you plan to use in your CBOT, like indicators, counters, event handlers, or timers. The CBOT template already includes a code statement to print a message to the log when the CBOT first starts. The new code template also includes a parameter setting called message with the value of hello world. And in the onStart method, there's a line of code to print this message to the log. We can demonstrate the onStart method by simply adding a CBOT instance and starting it in the CTrader ALGO application. And then we look at the log tab to see the result. As you can see, the hello world was printed to the log from the onStart method. This is the parameter up here that defines the actual text. We can stop the CBOT at any time, change the word to anything we want. See Trader rocks. Start the CBOT again. And in the log, you can see the new message printed See Trader rocks. Now let's stop the CBOT and return back to the code editor window. The onTick method is triggered when the symbol bid or ask price changes. Inside the onTick method, you can program your CBOT's entry and exit conditions, as well as any other auxiliary functions you need to run when a new tick of data arrives. We will now add a line of code inside the onTick method to print a message to the log. Now let's build the CBOT, go to the CBOT instance, start the CBOT, and in the CBOT log, you can see the onTick method printing onTick the bid and ask price every time there's a data change. Now let's stop the CBOT and go back to the code editor window. The onBar method is not included in the default CBOT code template we will add a code snippet to add this method. The onBar method is similar to the onTick method, but it's triggered whenever a new bar or candle is drawn on the chart. Similarly, you can program your CBOT's entry and exit conditions or any other function that needs to run on the formation of each new bar. If you use a one hour chart, a new bar is formed every hour. If you use a one minute chart, a new bar is formed every minute. We will now write a line of code inside the onBar method to print the user parameter message to the log each time a new bar is formed. If we were now to start our CBOT every hour, because our time frame is one hour, the onBar method is called, and our new message, print on bar, will be displayed to the log. The onStop method is called when the CBOT stops, either by the user or via the code. When this happens, any code inside the onStop method is executed. This can be used to perform final operations like closing positions. 
We will now write a line of code inside the onStop method to print the user parameter message to the log each time the CBOT is stopped. Now we can demonstrate the code we have just written by starting and stopping the CBOT. Now let's again return to the code editor window. The onException method is not included in the default CBOT code template. We will write this method using a code snippet. The onException method is a form of fault tolerance for your CBOTs. It allows you to capture unhounded exceptions and it will also allow you to decide what to do with them. We are now going to write some code to capture an exception when we try to access information about a trade that no longer exists. First, we need to add some code to the onStart method to create a new market order. The code we have written in the onStart method will execute a market order with the following configurable parameters. A trade type of buy, the current symbol which is of the chart, which is EURUSD, a volume of 1000, and a unique label for the trade, which is my label. The code we have written in the onTick method will find the position that was opened in the onStart method using the label name myLabel. If the position is found with the same label, it will then print to the log the position ID of the open trade. It will also print another message called message below, as the next line of the code is executed. Now we'll add some code to the onException method to capture any critical errors the CBOT might throw. Now we have finished with the coding, we can go ahead and build the robot. Before we start the CBOT, it's a good idea to explain what will happen when it starts. Firstly, the onStart method will be called and the code will execute to open a new market order. On the next incoming tick of data, the onTick method is called. If the order is found, it will print the order ID to the log and after the order ID, it will print a message called message below. In this case, no exception error will happen and the CBOT will continue to run and do its job. We can demonstrate this by navigating to the CBOT instance and starting the CBOT. Here you can see all the printed messages to the chart and an execute market order has happened and also you can see the message, message below. Now we are going to close the open position and make some small changes to the code so an exception error will happen.
In the onStart method, we're going to change the label name for our market order. We're going to call it CTrader. In the onTick method, we're going to comment out the line of code that checks if a position has a label called MyLabel and if it exists. Now we can build the CBot, go back to the CBot instance, start the CBot, open up the log tab and see what happens. As you can see from the CBot log, the onStart method printed CTrader rocks, the onTick method prints onTick, but the next printed method is oops, and had exception, no worries, the CBot will still run. What happened is that the new market order was created when the CBot started with a label name of CTrader. But in the onTick method, the code attempted to get a position with a label name of my label. And as we commented out the line of code to check if that position existed, it then attempted to print to the log the position ID. This caused an exception error that would normally have stopped the CBot in previous versions of CTrader. But with the new exception method, we can now capture this and handle the error. The CBot will continue to run and we can log the error so it can be fixed. We hope that you found the video helpful on the life cycle of a CBot for CTrader desktop. Feel free to ask any questions at the bottom of this video and subscribe to be updated when we publish a new video.